Hey everybody and welcome to part 8 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Like I said in the last video, we're going to Breeze Harbor. Now let's see what kind of shenanigans are going on here on the opposite side of things. Working for the birds, not the worms. Worminess. Well, let's see what the what's going on here. Please excuse our mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First they put out the fires on our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship too. Ah, they're land blubbers. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to know what these little worm things are called. Are they called blubbers because they're like really jiggly? But they're not really fat, at least the ones here don't seem fat so far, but I believe they probably will get fat. So let's stoke the fire and this should activate this whirlwind. See, so yeah, our main objective here is to stoke the flames. This one only has two orbs, so it's literally half the size of Zephyr. And there's some fat ones. Firefighter ones, actually. Their main goal is literally just to keep you from putting out the flames. Ah, there are some gems down here in this little pool. Also, one of the orbs here is annoying to get. One of them is just fairly easy. So you shouldn't have too much issues with, uh... I'll show you what the first orb is, actually. Like I said, 400 gems again. So, you have to destroy these metal things. Don't know really what they are. They're just, like, floating mines, I guess. There's actually one behind this. I'm just gonna... Aim properly. Did we hit it? Um. There we go, we hit it. Yeah, it's a little difficult to aim and hit it, but we, we managed to do it. And we should have 3,300 gems by the time we're done this level. Man, without money bags here to steal everything, we're actually making some pretty good dough. Now this is um, a remix of the soundtrack from Spyro 1, like in the swamp. Man, these games were rushed though, and they came out perfect. Like, for being rushed games, Insomniac sure makes good games. I don't think anyone rushes them nowadays with Ratchet and Clank, but... Man, if they could get their hands on Spyro again, that would be the day. A great Spyro game returns. Like with modern graphics, but this type of gameplay, they're redoing Crash, so why not this? <laughs> now all we have to do is blast these guys. Okay, where do they come from? Right here? That is too high. I'm not talking about being high on drugs either, guys. Oh, come on, you're supposed to hit them. Man, we're not hitting them. So maybe try up a little higher? There we go. Now let's destroy that. Definitely need some height. Perfect. A bunch of tens back at the beginning of the area. Now let's stoke this flame and hurry up and get on this little ship before it flies away. Cute little ship. Ship off the old block instead of chip. It was a cute little ship, though. I wonder what the daddy ship looked like. The mommy ship and all the other ships. <laughs> Alright, well, let's knock out all of these goons. These damn land blubbers. One of you invades one world and then the other group invades the other. It seems fair that you guys invade each other, right? Okay. Oh, this looks like the end of these guys. That didn't work. That works though, perfectly. Beautiful. And then there should be two more over here. And maybe over to the left a little more. Oh, never mind. Right height. There we go. Thanks, Spyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. Well, you sound a lot like Hunter. 
I'm pretty sure it's voiced by the same guy. There aren't a lot of voice actors in Spiral the Dragon games. So remember, Insomniac and Naughty Dog are both very small companies, at least back in the day. Like, man, this was a good competition to, like, Mario, Zelda, you know, all the Nintendo games at the time. Way better graphics than the N64, personally. Then again, this was also running on disc, not on, um... Uh, whatchamacallit? A cartridge. There, there was a rumor that uh, the Switch would be running on cartridges again. But I, I don't know how true that is. Kind of weird if it did, but... Seriously, we need to get to the ending of the level so we can activate that that uh, power-up. I believe there's what? 16 enemies, yeah. And you need 14 to do it, so... Okay. There's, one, there's the one guy we needed. I hear the bucket guy hopping around. There he is. There, now let's go do our other orb. Which is gonna be the one that's gonna take a while to do. Because this one can be annoying. And you can actually easily fail it. So, no more gems, let's talk to him. Now all we have to do is collect 50 gears on this little roller coaster ride. But trust me, it's not as easy as you think. Some more Jemisons! I love me some gems. I wish I could have that many gems in real life. I could be rich. So it looks like we have to collect 50 of these gears, so... Let's see if we can do it all in one go. Normally I can't do it all in one go. For the TNT, you shoot them. For the boxes, you jump over. If you ever find the boxes. Might actually be able to get Scorched in this episode as well. Then after that, we only have a little bit left to go in the game and that's it. The game will be done and out of the way. Well, the game. Why do I say the game? I mean the, uh... What the hell? Trouble with... Ah, I know I didn't have trouble. <laughs> Not done with the game, but done with the... This home world, the, uh... Autumn Plains. It goes Summer Forest, Autumn Plains, Winter Tundra. And it's not a spoiler alert because if you guys actually watched the episodes, we do know that the home, the final home world is Winter Tundra, due to the fact that they actually bring it up. Oh, yay, Crate. Crate Balls of Fire. But that's actually a Crash Bandicoot level in Wrath of Cortex. Good game. Had a few flaws or annoying levels like the uh, Atmosphere levels. Not really a fan of that. I believe that was originally introduced in other... Actually, no, I think it was introduced in that game. Um... Why do I keep getting hit there? No, it's not trouble with the trolley, man. Stop saying trouble with the trolley. I don't know what's going on, but we keep getting hit there. It keeps costing us the game. Yeah, I get that stop sign, you die. Go figure, eh? Run a stop sign and you die. I don't think that's how bad life really is. You get a speeding ticket, or well, not really a speeding ticket, you get a ticket. I don't think you go to prison or die. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. And we need you, thank you very much. This part's easy. So I do it too late, I guess. I tried doing it a little longer, or a little later, but no, it didn't work. There are also some gems over there, because we still have to raise the ship up. <clears throat> the ship up, pardon me. Don't know why that took a bit to come out, but it did. Man, I normally don't fail at that part. That's usually, like, an easy spot for me. Like, I don't get it, man. Oh, I thought I died. I really thought I did. I should have failed that, but I didn't. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. Probably edit some of this out. Then I guess I don't have to watch through an annoying amount of fails. There's something fucking wrong with this game right now. So yeah, we're definitely going to speed that up. Sheesh. 
Man, I don't know what's going on with that spot. Can I actually use the D-pad? I can use the D-pad. Well, back when these games originally came out, there was no D er, was no um, analog stick. The Crash Bandicoot 1 and 2 don't actually have analog support. If you play it on emulator, you do, but on the actual console like this, no, you don't have analog support. Literally only uses the D-pad. Because they're not remakes, they're literally just um, virtual console games. What the hell? Trouble with no, shut up with the trouble with the trolley. There's no trouble with the trolley. I got this under lock and key, man. I don't know why I made it through that time, but for some reason he can shoot the TNT, and he wasn't actually supposed to go straight. I was trying to go to the right, but for some reason the damn game wouldn't let me. Thank you. Eh, we're almost a quarter of the way. Or a quarter of the way. Halfway done. Yay! Oh, by the way, when I actually logged on for the last episode, we were at 50%, so we'd probably be at like 55%, 54% maybe now, something like that. There we go. And you know what the worst part about this is? We gotta redo this entire spot, too. I hope it's just the jump over, not the whole TNT. Like this? I like this challenge right here. See? You can't shoot it. That's my issue. No, there's no trouble with the trolley, bird brain. Let up with that already, man. Stop putting TNT in a spot that you can't deal with. So you can only shoot very slowly. You can't shoot very frequently, so you can't just, like, gun it down. Which really pisses me off. But like I said, it's still not frustrating to the point where, like, you know, you just want to rage quit. Other than, um, the super bonus... Super bonus round? Yeah, super bonus round in Spiral 3. Other than that, that's literally there's no point in this game or any of these games where it's super frustrating. At least I hope you don't get super frustrated. If you do, then you need to take a breather in the spiral universe. Well, we only have a few more to go. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Oh, I think I can only put down boxes. At least this one. There we go. I don't know, this is usually the last one I do, but for some reason I did it before. I think I always go for the hard ones first. There we go. And we did it. Finally. Just give it to me, man. Whew. All that work for really nothing, honestly. Oh, and here's the, some of the gems that came down from us breaking it open. Let's ride like the wind. Now we just have to activate these flames. Right? Okay, I did activate it. Activate the flame over here, and we rise up the ship. Perfect. I'd like to get to a level with an original soundtrack, thank you. Well, let's talk to this guy. Thanks for Thank you. Thanks for one of the most boring talismans in the entire game. But still much appreciated for, uh, you know, giving it to me. Let's go collect our last four gems. And now we can leave. And 400 gems. I think we have time to do another level. Ba -toom. 
Now, let's go upstairs to the second last level that we can actually get 100% on. I'm sure there's, what, two levels we can get 100% on, and then... Hmm. Yeah, I think we have time. Let's go do Scorch, the desert world. Obviously. It's clearly... The sand just changed color, it was dark and dooney, now it's like bright and sunny. Weird. Dumbass kid, going for the candy. You know you're not supposed to take candies from stra candy from strangers, fool. Oh, I wonder how many gems are in this world. Oh, let me get. Ow, let me guess. 400. Exacto mundo. Always 400. In the last home world, though, Winter Tundra, there are no talismans. There are only orbs. So even if a level was meant to have two orbs, then it would have three because of getting to the end of the level, which I, I think is kind of cool, but. Some of the, man, they could have come up with some cool talisman ideas. At least in my personal opinion. Now the orbs here, one is really easy to get and the other one, it's a little tricky, but it's not overly bad. It's not the worst orb in the universe to get. Now your main goal, rise up all these flags. I believe there's three. And they'll open up the next portion of the level. Ugh. Don't you dare shoot me. You're not allowed to bring a gun to a dragon fight. That's cheating. Blood. Well, at least I got the gem before I fell down to my doom. Actually, it's not really my doom. I don't get why they're evil tied up camels. Just because the camel's tied up, I have to kill it. Animal abuse. That's, that's actually way beyond animal abuse because I just murdered the thing. Now, this is where our first orb is, and yes, that is Hunter that you see. So, let's go talk to Hunter. Now all we have to do is flame monkeys into a barrel. From the Av the Avalar Zoo. I don't even know where the zoo is. It would have been a cool level to, you know, have the zoo. I believe if he hits Hunter, you fail. Like if the monkeys hit Hunter. I thought that was funny. There we go. Two out of six monkeys. Those are the weirdest looking monkeys I've ever I ever did see. Like, are they even really monkeys? They look like pixelated sloth throwing shit. Shit sloths. There we go. Two remaining. See, this one I don't get why it's necessarily um two star. Because it is a little more difficult than some of the three star challenges out there. Because you can take a lot of damage. Thanks for your Thanks, one of these monkeys had an orb. Cuz, reasons. Bye, Hunter. Thank you for literally being kind of useless. Can't you just give me these orbs? Like, you think he would just give us the orbs instead of working for him? But nah, that's not what Hunter does. <sighs> Let's continue on. We have one more gate to open. And then we can get to the ending of the level, which is also where the next orb is. Now let's go down here. Oh, okay, I guess the world one doesn't activate until you activate the drawbridge. Okay. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Oh, hey, camel. Nice camel toes. Wait, that's a two-legged camel. I just realized that this is one deformed camel. Ooh, nasty. Hey, there's a, there's a free one. What the hell was that? He shot the goddamn bottle rocket. <laughs> He's like, Choo! let's just injure Spyro in the process. And then apparently now he doesn't notice me. Of course he had to notice me before, right? Yeah. Alright. Now we can go down to that whirlwind. 
which is where a majority of our remainder remaining gems are, like right here. And let's activate them all. Should all trigger. There they go. Oh yeah, that's so beautiful to see all this monies. All this yummy in your tummy's monies. Woohoo! Oh, now we only have to get the last orb, the talisman, and that thing of gems over there. Now that we need clearly a power-up to deal with, so let's assume that much that the power-up exists at the end of the level. Since we haven't seen it, you know, otherwise. This level's a lot of enemies just all cramped up. They'd be cramping my style. Alright. I don't know, this level is one of those levels that I like just due to the fact that it's really short. Anyways, let's grab our talisman before we do anything else. Firewall, you make a great secret agent. Now Hando and I can complete our mission. By the way, you can have this talisman. I stole it when the soldiers weren't working. Now, it's funny because she talks with the woo woo woos and Handel talks normal in this game, but then in the sequel, he talks with the weird little baby voice and then she has a normal voice. I believe that's how it goes. So it's like, I don't know, they resorted back. I don't really get what happened. Now for this, I believe this is a five star challenge. Yeah, see this one deserves to have five stars. So what you do is you activate this, and then you have to find your way out, first of all. Ow, don't do that. Then we have to get up to higher ground so we can hit the guy that we need to. And he sits on top of the flagpole. So let's hit him. Damn Indian. So you want that flag? Hey, right, you know what? Yeah, now we have to avoid his bombs and get him back to the uh, where Handel is. Handel? Is it Hansel or Handel? Oh, gem. Wait, what the hell? I got bumped into two bombs. Now this level, or this ep level, this episode would have been a lot shorter if we would have gotten Breeze Harbor done a little smoother. For some reason, I kept hitting that one box. And there we go, that should be the first flag. Perfect. Great. And now there's still two flags. I believe, yeah. Where the entrance is is also where you can charge our hair. I think they made that specifically so you can get through pretty easily. And this is also why we, how we blow this open. Though, you don't really have a lot of time to make it to these spots. Oh no, Zoe's in my way. Apparently you can hit her from there. I almost didn't have enough uh, room to shoot. There we go, there's all the monies. Hey, Bombo. Now, I believe the difference between this one and the first challenge aren't really that much because he literally just doesn't really throw much. See, we're already back to where we were. For the first time, you know. Third round, on the other hand, gets annoying. What the hell? I didn't hit that. I did not hit that. I call shenanigans. Damn Bombo. The damn evil Indian that throws bombs at me. Is, is this is this considered racist? Man, back then nothing was considered racist. Now everything is. Whoa. Think we made it? Yes, we made it. Only one more challenge to go. You're so close, Spyro. Just do this challenge and become a god among us. Isn't that like injustice god, gods among us? Yeah. I beat the campaign of that game before once. Difficult, but beat it. Originally, I think I was recording it, too. That's why I was playing it. Plus, I was also on this whole achievement slash trophy hunting gig. Where I just like focused on getting achievements and trophies on everything I played. But now I don't do that. Now I just play for you guys. This is five stars. Wait, this one didn't have a star challenge this time. That's weird. The other two did. 
biatch. Come to this part now. Whoa. What the? Huh. Yeah, you know, you can't jump over that. That's the issue. It's like... Oh, by the way, here's a bomb. It exploded while you were already jumping over it. You were on the wrong side, so screw you. What the hell, game? Huh. You yeah, 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 Bombo. We get it. Shove your turban up your butt. Go home from whence you came. I'm pretty sure you don't live in a place... And well, then again, this is... Wait, how do they have a talisman? Those kids are secret agents. They're clearly here on a matter of... I don't know. Whoa, that one almost hit me in the face. See, sometimes they don't blow up. They don't almost still blow up when they touch you, but... Eh, whatever. Great job. And there we go. Great job, Agent Spyro. And level complete. So let's leave. I don't get what was with the creepy red eye powers, but yeah. glad to be out of there. Au revoir, land. Okay, so in the next episode, we will probably do Magma Cone and then the two levels that we can't complete. So, see you guys then. Peace out.